And good morning, fishers and foragers. We're out here in the early a.m. waiting for our trusty guide, Nate, to join us. But we're going to be going salmon fishing today. And we have some fresh picked chanterelles from yesterday, which we'll have some footage for you. First find of the year for me, so that was awesome. But we're hoping to catch some salmon today, cook it up on the river. I got some fancy sauce. You'll like it. It's good. It's good stuff. He calls it fancy sauce. It's like a family recipe is what it is. So oh. it's good. And we're going to hopefully catch some nice salmon, hopefully cook them up on the side of the river or at least somewhere in the wilderness. Yeah. And uh, have a nice day of it. So thank you guys for joining. Let's get to it. Let's get to the river. Let's get some fish. I'm not going to follow you anymore, Donnie. Sure. You're not finding any mushrooms. <laughs> well, I'll fan out then. How's that? Search party. Search party of mushrooms. I found a frog. Come here, buddy. You're adorable. Yeah, he looks like a swamp frog. Cute little guy. I just call him common ponds. Do you like frogs? No. You know? <laughs> and yet she, she wants to. Oh, yeah, she she's runs over here. I want to see. Oh, wait, never mind. It's a frog. <laughs> found a couple. Little ones. I got this cool little knife, actually. Thank you to my boss, Sean, for this. This is a gift last year. I'm pretty excited to use it, finally. It's got a nice little brush on the end. Clean off my mushrooms before bagging them. And very unfortunately, I don't have an actual cloth bag or mesh bag like I like to. Because I completely forgot it at home. Perfect. Show that guy to the camera. That's a good looking one. <laughs> Sorry. Flip it over. Look at, look at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. That is a very nice one. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, this is nice for us because there's not very many leaves that look like them. There's some places I go, like, there's leaves that look like chanterelles. <laughs> See, like a brown leaf? You're like, is that one of them? Yep. And you have to walk over to it from like 30 feet away. And you're like, no, that's just a leaf. Here's a nice one. Pe peeking up underneath a little, a little log. Whew, that's like a pre picturesque one. I get to use I get to use my fancy brush. <laughs> Ugh, this is a good looking one again. Yeah. Before we jump to the fishing, I wanted to say thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. After a year and a half, I've finally reached a thousand subs, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the journey so far, and I look forward to taking you all with me on new adventures around the Pacific Northwest and beyond. For all you new folks here, my name is Zach, and I make all sorts of outdoor content. Fishing, foraging, camping, hiking, cooking, how-tos, and more. I want to share my love for the outdoors with you guys and inspire you to have adventures of your own. If you want to see more of this content, hit that sub button below and that bell icon to get notified whenever my new videos drop. Again, thank you guys so much, and I hope you all enjoy the ride. Now let's get back to some fishing and foraging action. Look at that. Eagle-eyed from what, 50 feet away? Donnie sees this this beautiful cauliflower mushroom. Yeah, we'll say about 50. All my years of mushroom picking, I've never actually found one. It's kind of weird. And now today, we find this beautiful specimen. Oh no. Oh, that was fast. I already broke off. So the salmon right now, I don't know how much you know about salmon, but they're, they just went, they just lived in the ocean for like two to four years and they're coming back into the river to spawn and they die afterwards. So they're going to, they come up here, spawn and then literally like rot to death. So the, that, that's like their last thing they do is spawn out and then just die. They don't have any any other life after that. You got it on? That was a bright one too. You grab it? He grabbed it, yeah. You're in here. I'm coming! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just right underneath? Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see him moving. Okay. Here we go. Let's let's do it. Fish on. <laughs> yeah, it's the baby guy. Let's go. First, first cast in there. All right, so this is our goal species, guys. Little, oh, Jesus. Calm down. Little, tiny, coho. So that's what we're going, oh, jeez. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, this is a baby one. We want to catch, like, one. that guy. <laughs> you can see, still see Oh, yeah, no, there, this guy darted out. I'll probably get one. If, he, if there's still more in there, I'm going to try to get another one just right away. Oh, right in front of it. They didn't even care. They just swam right past it. So with this thing, you just want it to basically, like how it swung across the river and it was spinning the whole time. You just kind of swing it, and if you get swing it right in front of them, they'll aggressively get at it. Usually the bite's more of an aggression bite when you get these things. They're not like looking to eat anything. They're just pissed off that it's in front of their face. Donnie, you got to get down here and twitch right underneath this tree. Ah, shit, that's a bad one. Nice. Woo! Nate's on. The good one. Nice. That's a gorgeous fish. It's a beautiful chrome fish, bro. Yeah, it is. That's, that's a, a nice fish, Pretty bro. fish, dude. Nice By the fish. way, you guys get a hold of me for jigs anytime. <laughs> hey, they work. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a beautiful fish. That's a good way to start the day. Nate is our native guide up here on the Quinault Reservation with Savage Fishing Guides. If you want exclusive access up on these Quinault Reservation rivers, reach out to Nate. I'll leave his information below in the description. Nate is a great guy. He can get you out on the water and get you on some fish. Hey, bro. Yeah? Jake oh, there's one. Nice. Little guy. Another Jack. Yeah, bro. <laughs> right in the mouth. Jeez. Right in the mouth. All right, That's a nice one, too. You get to hold it up and take a picture with it. Oh, this might be a Chinook. No, it's a silver. Definitely. Look how barely, look how little he is hooked. He just popped yeah. off. I don't think I've ever seen a jack caught out of here before. He caught two. I know. He's a hatchery, He's hatchery guy, too. <laughs> Beautiful little guy. Yeah, nice Dime fish. bright. Mm -hmm. Woo. All right, I'll bonk him and. Out, Look at that fish, guys. Like right now, Another like beautiful jack. Season, off and on, rain, He's going to cut real like nice. Right now. Get one? Nice. Fish on. Get one? Nice. Fish on. Is that the first cast through with a spinner? Hey, Got one. A nicer one. You dragging it up? Yeah. That's a nice looking fish. Beaching it. Ooh. Look at that. Another chromer. So Donnie actually runs Big D's Bait and Tackle. I'll put a link in the description below. He makes some custom lures and jigs for salmon and steelhead, so definitely check him out if you need some, some fishing gear. Oh man. When, I, when I'm gone, cast right up against this tree because I just scared like 50 of them. That's so crazy, guys. Oh my god, he just hit me in the foot. <laughs> he just ran into my foot.
I'm gonna try to tie a twitching jig on. Has he already got a spinner going? Ugh. I'm more of the one who is like, I'll go like what we've been doing just now, hiking through the river, looking for spots and hunting for them. That's my kind of fishing rather than like the hatchery holes and the hog lines and shit. And get an enticed one with a twitching jig over there. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if they're just sitting all stacked up right underneath here. Oops, that was a bad cast. Oh, good. Oh, fish on. Let's go. Oh yeah. Nate, fish on. Woo! Perfectly hooked too. Let's pull him up. Jeez. Look at that. Let's go. Woo! Let's go guys, look at that beauty. Wow, that's a gorgeous fish. Let's go. That's like a perfect fish. Look at that. I think it might be a hen too. All right, that's bonker. Or no, that's definitely a buck. Is there a rock or a stick or? <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Super stoked. Nice. Good night, bud. So I, I cast in there, right? And I twitched like once and I felt this weird thing and I got it in and there was a scale on the hook. And I was like, oh, shit, there's a fish in there. And I cast in again and he just he just hammered it. Let's go guys, that's a beauty. <sighs> Bloody. Look at that beast. It's pretty fat too. It's a nice looking fish. Mm -hmm. Dude, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm glad. Uh, <laughs> I'm really happy He was right at the edge of that or the end. Dude, I think there's another one in there. Dude, I'm so excited, guys. That is awesome. It's been all morning since I caught those little, two little jacks and just not been getting any luck. Seen a ton. Just nothing's biting until that guy. Super awesome. Woo. Let's go. We got a catch. We got a solid catch and cook going. <laughs> nice! I saw that. That was awesome. A little jack. Toss her on up. Nice. There's something in there. I love the jacks are always so much more pretty. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Keeping him, right? Oh, yeah. Can't complain too much about that. We are at Donnie's aunt and, aunt and uncle's house, and they were kind enough to let us use their place, so we have a little bit of cover. But right now, we gotta clean these two fish. We're gonna cook up these little ones. That smells good. Ooh, yeah. Whoa, it's good.
Alrighty guys, that is gonna wrap up the weekend. We have a delicious plate of salmon. We're literally driving right now because it's so soaking wet. We're all wet to the bone and miserable. It was a great weekend. Got a bunch of chanterelles day one and a cauliflower mushroom. Donnie got the cauliflower mushroom, which is great. Got some, some amazing salmon actually, really good salmon fishing. Yep. And uh, we're gonna take those home to the smoker. We'll at least take the big one home to the smoker and cook those up. So maybe we'll, we'll show some clips of that or something, or check out my Instagram if you wanna see pictures of that. Great weekend. Uh, we got at least a couple hours of dry fishing in <laughs> until it started downpouring on us. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely let me know what you think below in the comments. Hopefully this will be a stellar 1,000, 1,000 sub episode. So thank you guys again for getting me to 1,000 subs. I do appreciate that as well. Like this video, say goodbye to Donnie. Woo, say goodbye to Nate, our fearless guide. Say goodbye. Chloe and MK for joining us. Special guests. <laughs> anyway, guys, take it easy and I'll see you later.